having a wonderful day so far. So today I'm going to do an empties basket or an empties video which is basically where I show you guys my trash and show you what I've been using up. I feel like it's a really good way to do product reviews a whole bunch in one video. You know what I mean girl? And my empties bucket if you have seen before is way too small. So whenever it starts overflowing I want to go ahead and go through the products with you guys and so yeah I do these every few months or whatever. Oh one thing let me start out with something completely random okay. So these are teas that I have finished up. Now I drink loose leaf tea so I get most of my loose teas from Teabana, which you can order online and then some malls have them in inside the mall. So I tried Tranquil Dream. I love this. You let it seep for five to six minutes and it, I have trouble sleeping. So this really helps me be able to calm down enough to sleep. So I love that tea. And then I usually, Okay, this is called Blueberry Bliss. This is one, this is probably one of my top three favorite teas. I drink it in the morning. It gives you a little bit of energy, but it also calms you at the same time, if that makes sense. Also, with loose teas, you can always mix them. So, I mix, and this next one, this, this next tea is my favorite tea ever of life. It is amazing. You don't need any sweetener with it or anything. It's called Strawberry Parisio. And I have a big giant can of this. Now, when you're done with these, you take them in and they refill them. So I'm not throwing away the actual cans. But this is a, oh, it is so good. It's just a strawberry flavored tea. Don't need any additional sweetener in it. And it's loose. It's good for you. It has no preservatives, all of that. So if you're a tea lover, try Tivana's Strawberry Precio and I mix it with that Blueberry Bliss a lot of times and that's like my morning drink instead of coffee sometimes. So those are my teas that I finished That's up. the first time I've ever done like anything like that in my trash but I wanted to show that to you guys because it's something different. So let's go ahead and get into the empties. The next thing I finished is a Sunday Riley Good Jeans Treatment. This is my serum, holy grail. I will always continuously repurchase this. I don't like purchasing it because it's so darn expensive, but it is so worth it. I have been out for two days now and look at my face. So I have like a little friend over here. Whenever I'm using this day and night, I swear it just, it works for my skin and I don't break out. My skin looks healthier, more luminous. You know, it, I feel like it, it just, it, it takes, it's an anti-aging. It really takes years off of your skin, honestly. Okay, the next thing is the Lush Rub 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 and this is a shower scrub. I used this a lot in the summer, spring, summertime, whenever I was self tanning. It smells delicious. It just smells clean, you know, it's not like a fruity smell or a whatever. It just smells clean. It smells good and I liked it for a shower scrub. It's probably my favorite body scrub. And then you save these and you can trade them in for something or other. Next thing was the Embryo Lease. Um, I have a few different packets of this in here. I got these at the makeup show. They put them in our like little press bag and I really liked this cream. This one is just the, I think this was an anti-aging firming cream. I really liked this. I'm going to look and see how much the full size of it, of this is. So I really enjoyed that cream. Next thing I got was a Ren Hydrocom Global Protection Day Cream. This was in an Ipsy or Beauty Box or something. I used this whole thing up as a day cream. I love Deluxe size samples because these last me two, three, four weeks. And you know, day cream, night cream, and stuff like that can get expensive. So I did like it. Um, I like this one way better, but it did the job. And then the next thing is a, what is this? A Sephora Daily Brush Cleaner. My little sprayer came off, but it's empty anyways. I like this for spot concealing my brushes. I will say though, I really am digging this uh, color switch. 
because it doesn't get it wet you just kind of swirl your brush around there and it spot cleans it and then I go in every week and deep clean my brushes so I prefer that over this and I probably will, probably will not repurchase this at the end I was using it honestly to spray off my vanity and clean my vanity <sighs> okay I finished this deluxe sample of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have a whole demo review. I'll link that below. I'm in the color five. I loved this foundation. The more I used it, the more I loved it. However, I would not pay the $60, $65 for it. It didn't wow me that much, but I did like it. The next thing is the Lancome Seals Booster. This is a lash primer, and this was just a little sample of it. I do think I'm going to go ahead and pick up the full size because I did like it. Some days I get lazy and I don't use a lash primer, but whenever I really want my lashes to look like BAM, it does help. So I have, I did like that. The next thing, let's get this big thing out. Whew. Um, oh my gosh, this was the Bath & Body Works True Blue Shea Butter Body Cream. And I bought this whenever I was in Colorado seeing my friend Chelsea. This is my favorite body cream, whatever. It smells so good. It smells like a cupcake with vanilla cream, buttercream icing. It's just delicious. I highly recommend this. It hydrates and it smells good. I used it right when I got out of the shower. I just, I love that stuff. Okay, next I got the Clinique Re Repair Wear Laser Focus. This says it's a two week sample. You use this in the morning and at night. And this lasted me a month because I don't like slather my face with it, but it was good. Um, however, I definitely like the Sunday Riley serum over this one, but um, I didn't break out or anything when I was using this Clinique Wrinkle re Repair. Um, I don't know. I don't even know, girl. Okay, next thing. Bare Minerals 5-in-1. This is the color Soft Linen. This is a really small little deluxe sample that I got and I liked it. I used it every day instead of my Painterly Paint Pot. Um, so it didn't last that long. However, I would consider buying the full size of this because I honestly, I prefer this over Painterly because you don't have to dig your finger in there. It's, an app, it's a wand, you know, like an applicator. So I like that. I'm going to use Painterly first and then I'll repurchase this one. So next thing, got some facial wipes, the Neutrogena Hydrating. Uh, these are the bomb. Um, I don't use these every morning. Some mornings I go in and really wash my face and some mornings I'm lazy and I just use a makeup wipe because these do cleanse your face as well, just not as good. But we all have those lazy mornings. Um, I also like to use these after I work out in the mornings. So, um, yeah, I liked these. However, my favorite were the Giovanni Soothing and Scented Facial Cleaning Cloth Towelettes. You get these on Vitacost. They're not that expensive. I think they're like $4.49. And I really like these. They smell good. They're, they're really big. They're really moist. They have aloe in them to calm your skin. They're gentle, yet they remove all of your makeup. So definitely recommend those. And then another moisturizer that I used up. This was, who? what is that? And this is another little sample size I got. It's the Stila Face the Day Gel Cream Moisturizer. I didn't like this that much. I used all of it, um, but I don't like, I like eye gels, but I didn't really like the gel being all over my face for a moisturizer. So I definitely won't buy that. But if you're someone who likes a gel moisturizer, you know, you should try it. Okay, this was interesting. This was the... Vitivia Pro Vitamin. And let me show you guys. This came with like 10 of each. I got this in the swag bag too. But it was basically like a little capsule. And you cut it and it had serum in it. It was really neat. So it had it had um, vitamin C in the orange one. It had vitamin, I don't know, E in the other one. And then in the green one, I don't know whatever it had all kinds of vitamins that is good for your face so I used this instead of my serum a few you know I used up all the little capsules I liked it um I didn't it didn't wow me so I wouldn't repurchase it but I did like it um this is a fruit sorbet antioxidant peel-off mask 
I love peel off masks but I can only use them about once a month because I feel like my face gets it just sucks out the life of my face but it also sucks out the nastiness you know what I mean so um, I did like it but I I will only use that every month or two you know next thing oh I finished this my sister got me this last Christmas it's the warm and cozy by pink Victoria's Secret um, hand and body cream this one was in my purse for uh, like it was always in my purse and I loved it so definitely recommend that scent the chlorine dry shampoo love this this is my second bottle of it um this is my favorite dry shampoo period love it we'll repurchase it for sure next thing is the miracle worker miraculous anti-aging moisturizer I used this as a day cream also and I liked it of the three that I've told you, I think this Miracle Worker was my favorite. I talked about Miracle Worker, which is philosophy, the Stila one, this Ren one, and then this um, Embro Silice or whatever. I'll list it below. But I think the Philosophy Miracle Worker was my favorite for a day cream out of this batch. Here's a couple more of that brand. Um, this was a nourishing moisturizer, so they just give you lots of samples of their different lines of moisturizer, but I do like that brand. And then the Clinique Moisture Surge, um, I thought that, because I have pretty dry skin, I thought I would love this, but it says Extended Thirst Relief, so I did it at night. I used it as my night cream, and I wasn't really wild but I felt like I had to put another cream over it because it just didn't feel real nourishing um and then ah a bliss text raspberry lemonade blast this thing smells so good um this was my husband's so he was like here's an empties for you <laughs> and then the very last thing in here is the makeup forever matte velvet plus foundation i had a sample of this i'm in the number 35 i used this whole sample pot and she gave me a good generous size i used it a good i would say 15 times i really liked this going into the winter it's not going to work for me because i know that my skin gets super dry but if my skin is oily oilier next summer like it was this summer i'll definitely probably buy honestly a full size of the matte velvet plus because on days when you're super oily it keeps you matte and it's pretty good coverage so that is it for my empties i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time bye